More bandwidth won't always solve network congestion. That's why bandwidth management, specifically traffic shaping, is so important. In this edition of Tech Talks, we'll show how to configure traffic shaping in Cisco Business Wireless Network. Next. To configure traffic shaping, we first need to log into our Cisco Business Wireless Network. We then need to navigate to the wireless settings from the menu and select the WLAN option. On the WLAN page, we need to click on Add New WLAN slash RLAN. On this page, we'll skip over to the traffic settings. We can choose our QoS option first. The options include Platinum Voice, which ensures a high quality of service for voice over wireless, Gold Video, which supports high quality video applications, Silver Best Effort, which supports normal bandwidth for clients, and finally, Bronze Background, which provides the lowest bandwidth for guest services. We'll keep it at Silver, which is the default configuration. For the next few options, we can enter the downstream and upstream bandwidth for the client, BSSID and WLAN. Currently, we're in standard view, so the configuration parameters will be in megabits per second. We can move each slider and choose a value for each parameter in both downstream and upstream directions. Once we're finished choosing our settings, we can configure the fast lane. We'll click on the drop-down menu and enable the fast lane option. There are various standards that exist to help network devices agree on how different types of traffic are prioritized. The fast lane greatly simplifies this process so that network congestion is minimized and time-sensitive traffic is delivered on time. Up next is the application visibility control. We'll click on the drop-down menu and enable it. The application visibility enables the master AP to detect and recognize more than 1,000 applications. It also performs real-time analysis and monitors network congestion and network link usage. Once this is enabled, the ABC profile will show us the related wireless LAN name. Next, we'll click on the Add Rule button. Here, we can choose the application and action. The action options are Mark, Drop, or Rate Limit. Let's go over them. If Mark is chosen, we then have to select a QoS level. Those options are Silver, Platinum, Gold, Bronze, and Custom. If we choose Custom, we'll then need to enter the DSCP value with a range of 0 through 63. If we were to choose Drop, then the application will be dropped. Rate Limit lets us choose our average rate. Once that information is entered, we can click on Apply. To save the configuration, we'll need to click Apply on this page as well. We're currently configuring in the standard view. In the expert view, though, we're able to see our parameter with kilobytes per second values. We can move to expert view by clicking on the arrow button on the top right-hand corner. Once inside this view, we can go back and add a new WLAN slash RLAN. We're going to then navigate back to the traffic shaping tab. Here, we can configure the rate limits per client, BSSID, and WLAN in both directions. We can enter these parameters and remaining configurations the same for Fastlane and application visibility. So once we're happy with the configuration, we'll just need to click on the Apply button to save. And that's it. That's how to configure traffic shaping in Cisco Business Wireless Network. Thanks for watching this edition of Tech Talks. We'll see you next time.